Hey everyone, I'm back with the Easy Press 2. I have the 6x7 Baby Easy Press and I want to show you guys just a little more what we can do with it besides just smaller things and onesies. Uh, I have a 4T size shirt that I want to make for my son and I am going to use the 12x12 um, Cricut pressing mat this side down so we know and I want to show you guys today, I'm going to actually do a little layering on this too, so we can go ahead and see how to do that if you have the smaller press on a bigger area. It's really easy, so we're just going to go over that. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to turn my press on and bring it over here so you guys can see it. And I'm going to go to the Cricut Easy Press uh, interactive quick reference guide. My iron-on material is just regular everyday iron-on. My base material is 100% cotton and I'm using the Cricut Easy Press mat to press. So right over here it gives me all of my instructions. Set temp to 315, preheat for 5 seconds, apply heat and gentle pressure for 30 seconds, flip and press for 15, and peel off warm. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my press is set to 315. It is. So we're good. I have it set to 15 seconds so I'm going to bump that up to 30 seconds because that's what it tells me here. Um, just for my 5 second press I'll let it count down to, um, to by five seconds. I'm gonna put this aside, and while that's heating up, the first thing I always like to do is take my lint roller and go over um, my garment. It doesn't matter what color it is. I know the white, it stands out easier, but I have kids and dogs, and it's just easier to get all this junk um, off first. I'm going to go over it again after I do my quick, um, See, already ready. I'm gonna go off. I'm gonna go over it again with the. Um, I'm just going to do my pre-press, and I'm gonna make sure I. Um, you gotta start this button here when we're ready. I'm gonna start it down for five seconds, and then I'm going to move over here. We'll do another five seconds, and this is just to heat it up to help the material apply a little better, and to also uh, get any moisture out that might be in here. And I'm going to do it all over my design because I have a bigger design. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And now I'm just going to go over this again. Sometimes if there's anything that was stuck in there, uh, it'll come up now that we pressed it. Okay. So I'm going to set that aside. Make sure you guys are good. I'm going to set the base part of my design down. I'm going to do my best to line it up. Sometimes I fold my shirt in half, but this is just for my son, so I'm not overly concerned about everything being completely perfect. I see a few little dog hairs stuck underneath here. I'm going to pull those up because it will press under your um, HTV if your HTV is on there, if it's under your HTV. So if it was just up here, it's not going to press into your shirt, but it will press into under your HTV. And that's, uh, I don't think it, I haven't had an issue where it affects the AT, HTV, but um, it will be stuck under there and it's not coming up. So I'm going to go ahead and line this up best I can. And you're only going to press each little section of this for a quick second. Now I can see here, I'm going to get most of my design. So I'm going to press it quickly press it quickly and press it quickly. Gentle pressure, I really didn't put too much into it. Now because it's a bigger design, I'm going to peel really carefully to make sure that every part of this stuck down. I'm only doing this for a quick second for each layer because I do have, um, see it's stuck over here. I'm gonna push this back down and um, press that for another just quick second. And the reason I'm doing this is because I do have this white layer that's going to go down. Now some people just let the shirt seat um, peek through just like this so their design would already be done. I personally am not a huge fan of that look, but it's all about preference. So if you are fine with that, then go right on ahead and leave it as is. But for me, I like to add the white in there. I just like think it looks better. Now I'm going to 
actually I'm having a little trouble with this sticking I didn't hit it enough but since this isn't going to affect it I'm going to add this right in and we're going to go ahead and press it um, I'm going to go ahead and press it all together because now if this HTV were to overlap in any way the carrier sheet we would have a big problem um, we would not be able to do that it would stick to the other carrier sheet but because there's no overlap with this I can go ahead and do this now and it's not going to cause any issue so I'm actually going to go ahead here I'm going to cut this down since I'm having such an issue with it kind of coming back and sticking on me and holding it back so I'm gonna go ahead and cut that down and I've got some dog hair popping up I'm gonna go ahead and pull this back I'm going to throw this down. I'm going to do my best to just line this up really well. Um, I don't use registration marks with HTV because I find it to be, I mean, I don't use it with adhesive vinyl usually anyway. I find it to be wasteful. So I definitely don't with HTV. That's more expensive. So let me pull this out of the way. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Um, piece this together. Now I'm, I didn't, I don't think I mentioned, I'm using my Teflon sheet over my HTV. If you don't have a Teflon sheet, Cricut makes a pressing cloth. You can use parchment paper. You can use a thin table, um, a thin pillowcase, just really whatever your preference is. For me, I like the Teflon sheets. That's what I've found. It helps conduct the heat. So, um, and it protects my garment. So, that is what I like the best. So I'm gonna go ahead, now that I've got that all set, I'm gonna put this back down. And now I'm going to just press each part again for a second, each part that is um, still attached to our carrier sheet because we want to um, get this off. Once we have the um, carrier sheet down, it's going to leave an impression uh, as you can see this carrier sheet left an impression in the black HTV that was already down so we want to remove that in order to do our final our full press so I still have this set to 30 seconds so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to start that press and I'm going to press just each little area of this for 30 seconds because that is what we are supposed to be doing for our full time we just tacked this down just enough to get it to stick to our um, our shirt so that we could layer it. HTV shrinks when heated so uh, as you heat each layer it's going to shrink a little bit and we want everything to shrink all together. If one layer shrinks too much your second layer is not going to um, it's not going to line up correctly so you want to make sure that you're really pressing this all correctly and together so that's why we only tack down each layer. I'm just doing um, some gentle pressure on this. We're going to do it for 30 seconds and I noticed that that little piece up at the top of my design didn't get the the first press in. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to move this to the side, press it for 30 more seconds up here. Make sure that you have no seams in the way because that will prevent you from getting a completely flat press. So I'm going to go ahead and do this and then we'll flip it over and we'll press it for 15 seconds from the back. That is what our uh, interactive guide is telling us to do. We want to make sure that we're following the directions um, precisely for the best results and I find that the interactive guide is really really awesome for helping that. Uh, it tells you just it really breaks it down really quickly and easily for us on how we want to do that. Okay, so I'm going to put this back here. I'm going to change my time down to 15 seconds because that's all we need for the back and get that ready. So you can see how this, how it looks. I'm going to flip it over and going to, I don't know if you need to put the Teflon down, I just always do, I feel like it's the best, it just makes the most sense to me. 
and you want to make sure you get every part of your design. I'll go back over this after, but I just wanted to go through this process with you guys to show you how it's all done. And now we are all set. And you've made a shirt, even though it's bigger than our area.